Hey Stampers, Gainer again and I ordered this yesterday and it's finally arrived and it's the maxi pad. You get 22 double sided uh, sh uh, sheets of paper plus the cover and the back cover have got patterns on as well so you're getting like 24 pages really all together and it's absolutely and I think there's only about five or six cut aparts so that's pretty good. Um, it's called Make a Wish. I just thought I didn't realise it was for Christmas, <laughs> but I'm glad I've got it because um, I made a little box on a video and that's a little bit big. It was actually for cigarettes to go in. So, uh, but if I make this section smaller, round off the corners and then tuck them in, then that becomes a gorgeous little gift box as well. So... I might do 25 of these and use these papers as my little advent boxes. So you could even keep the little side flaps on if you were turning it into a, a, a closing box like this. You know, the little tuck things in the side. So, and then my gorgeous friend Georgie did a train on one of her videos. I would like to do it where it's like, because this is two and a quarter. About two and a quarter but if I do it so it's that make it four and a half so if I do it four and five eighths I can stand two boxes next to each other I haven't got another one to show you stand two boxes next to each other and do it by five and one eighth and then get ten boxes in from one carriage ten boxes in another carriage and then maybe a smaller carriage on the back a narrow one for the last five I'd love to do that and then you can get all sorts in these little boxes. Well, a packet of cigarettes bits in it. I know, because I'm a smoker. Uh, but you could add a little treat inside each one of these containers. So when the kids come down, they can open a box every day. You know, that fits in there beautifully. Uh, so these are the multi-pack ones because the standard size bars are a lot bigger and I also get I love these these are my favourite things in the world if I eat chocolate so maybe all oh, these are bigger all oh, these are slightly bigger but at least my double deckers will fit in I love double deckers as well so I'll just slide that in You've got space in there for a lollipop as well, or some of the, you know, the Haribo sweets. You could just fill each one. So, if my gorgeous friend Georgie doesn't mind, I would love to case her train. Not to the exact same tea sizes. Maybe, because, maybe two boxes will fit lovely, because she's got two or three other little boxes on the front that I could perhaps fit the other last five boxes into. But look, yeah. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Obviously then I'm going to take this down a little bit shorter because that's quite a big flap. But it still works. Works brilliant. And then I can decorate them each box with my papers. I've got my advent numbers. Let me just grab them. Because somebody asked, am I still going to make an advent this year? because I bought these in the range a couple of weeks back um, maybe they'll go on top maybe they won't but maybe they'll go on there box the box somewhere so let's find another 25 there it is I don't want to break any of these because they're very delicate but they'll fit on the top of there beautifully oh my goodness it's got to be done it's going to be a long process. I've got to make 25 boxes plus the train itself. But maybe I will adjust the sizes, like I say, so I can get 10, 20 boxes in the back and then the, the three boxes that make up the train front. Adjust that enough so I can get the other five boxes in somewhere. But they fit on there beautifully. I can, uh, perfect, absolute perfect. Love it, love it, love it. So please watch this space. I will do a video making the box, adding the decoration, but not to all 25, obviously, because that takes forever. 
Um, and I'll find more gifts to put inside. You could get little hand lotions. Um, what else could you get? Like, you know, maybe if you this was slightly smaller or the box is slightly taller, you could put little things in, like little craft items for someone to open on a daily basis if you were giving it to an adult, maybe. You know, just find smaller things, like a, you could buy a, a new rubber, put that in there, maybe a, um, a tape runner would fit in there. You know, anything for a crafter that would, they would love to find in a little... There, it fits in there perfect, look at that. You know, it doesn't have to be sweets, it could be little bottles of perfume, it could be uh, embellishments, you know, and obviously... You've got to get the right size box, but your washi tape will fit in there. Your tape one is fat, uh, fitted in there. You could perhaps add a block. You know, any crafter would love a little advent and have a different craft item stored inside. Um, maybe you, could do, you don't even have to stick to the same size box. You could do different size boxes to fit different items. So... You know, you could maybe cut some dimensionals up, put them in and just cut them in half, two, and then a full full packet of dimensionals. You know, it's endless. You've got ribbons you can add, you can add baker's twine. You could even buy bottles of new bow drops, pop them in. You know, anything that would fit in this little box. Brilliant. Little punches even. You know, it doesn't have to just be for children. You could pop a punch in one, cover it with some uh, ready shreddy if you've got any left. Perfect idea. Loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Uh, not quite tall enough, but you know, you could always have a little candy cane hanging up the side there. You know, put a little uh, a thumb notch in there. Oh, there's so many endless things you could put inside this gift box. And I'm loving the idea. You know, what else? Uh, what else could you put? You could pop some scissors in for a crafter. Maybe just let, just make your boxes slightly smaller. You could put all sorts, all sorts. And my head is like ticking right over time here. <laughs> but, you know, this is like three and a quarter, three and a half by two and a quarter. So you could actually make these four by off by one and a half inches instead of one inch you know to make them slightly bigger or just different size boxes just to slot in the back of the train and the kids will love opening something different every single day so nom nom cup of coffee later <laughs> i have got drawers of these let me just show so there's another packet <laughs> These are off my gorgeous friend Sandra. These are the full size ones you get in the shop. You know, these come in multi packs of 10. So, you know, oh, nine, sorry, nine in this packet. Uh, you know, you've just seen that they fit inside there. But yeah, this is my chocolate drawer. When you're feeling a bit snacky and you want to go and grab and you don't want to go downstairs to grab something, then I've got a chocolate drawer. I don't eat it very often, and I don't eat it every single day, but I do like to know it's there on hand. <laughs> you've got to have a chocolate drawer. We all need a bit of energy from somewhere. And if you craft it away like I do, for I could be up, to, up here for hours, but let me show you these gorgeous, gorgeous papers. Now, they do do the 10-pack. The Obviously, then you get the inner cover and the back cover, which you've started to do, which is fantastic because what a, it would be a crying shame to add a piece of paper and then just have that blank like they when they first started out. But I'm just going to sh they're all totally different as well, but they're all so gorgeous. So let me show you these. Look at those. You do get another sheet in here with the same, but obviously the back then isn't the cover. But look at all these wonderful little trees. You and there's so much you can cut out. You know, and add on, um, like the Happy Holidays, the 25, the Love Art, the things like this. The actual tree itself, you know, it, I think this would turn into a magical little tree. 
for an advent something totally different than it I just like 25 boxes of them um, all stacked in the shape of a tree don't get me wrong cute as a bum did them last year for the kids and they love them and I added fairy lights so they can hang and wall hangings on the back but look at this it's uh, I have gone a bundle for the stamp era papers and look at what's on the some of these doesn't even have to be about Christmas because this would go on any album you know this is absolutely stunning this side you know it's not nothing nothing there says Christmas but uh, then you get pages like this oh look at these gorgeous strips down here he would look amazing on a page of a waterfall make sure every last little piece had a piece look at these postage stamps the houses the trees all tiny little embellishments the stamps the turn over i mean apart from the 25 you could use that on something else it doesn't have to be about christmas look the houses you could cut the words out cut them out look let it snow and happy new year you know you know happy xmas sorry you know there's another 25 there. there's a little bird there there's so much potential with this packet of paper and it like I say the maxi pad um, you normally get 10 sheets for about 13 14 pounds I think this one was about 23 pound for the big maxi pack so well worth I mean look at this absolutely stunning nothing to do with Christmas but you know so you could get probably two if you were doing it for albums you could get two you could use the non uh, Christmassy sides and use them on a plain album and then you've got these look at this make a wish you know there's the wings love came down at Christmas love all lovely love divine I don't know what that means but love was born at Christmas star and angels give this gave the sign it's supposed to be a little poem but and it's there again another one there Hear the angels singing their choir from above and going and a song of hope to let us know of God's eternal love. Oh my goodness, love it. You got the little Noelia, you got wish and sing. There may always be an angel by your side. I love it. Dream, believe, achieve. Now I go in the range and buy the big wooden elements and they have the dream the believe and it's laugh normally but I'm sure I've seen achieve as well in there but you can buy all sorts of look I love all this patchworking beautiful and then turn over I mean apart from the word Noel down there what else does that doesn't sing Christmas to me but you could use that on another album uh, Christmas cats and cats match both there both are made of pure magic. Oh, you could dye it. You could fussy cut those two out and use them as tuck spot and embellishments. You've got little postcards. No, there's so much to cut apart. I'm loving the tape measure. Absolutely adorable. But look at this side. Absolutely stunning. Oh, you know I'm going to have a ball with these, don't you? Oh, I love my stamp era papers. Look at this. Chase your dreams with, with your own wings. That's beautiful. You could cut these little ornaments out, that little dream, the little wings. Oh my goodness. My mind is just like racing as to what I can do with this. And again, this doesn't sing Christmas to me, but you know, it can, it does and it doesn't, if you know what I mean. So this could be used on a totally different album. But look at these absolutely wonderful ephemeras and cutouts. Beautiful. And they got the backings on as well, so you wouldn't want to cover them, would you? You want you want to see the backs. Oh, they're just so beautiful. So that's the first cut apart, really, when you think about it. There's that pretty cat again. Dear Santa, North, twenty five Santa Claus, home. He's here. I love it. I just oh look at the the giant poncia. Oh, I love it. And again. This could be used on a normal album. It seems like it's half Christmas and half something else, and, and I love it. Um, you've got the three pontiacs. I'm loving this tape measure. 
beautiful. I'm loving the traditional colours. I'm normally a, a girl that's not into tradition, but look, you could use that on, on a plain album. You've got all the trees. This is the inner cover again, but look what you've got on the back. You've got those beautiful stars. And again, doesn't scream Christmas. Nor does this really, apart from the odd 25 and happy holiday and the greeting. I mean, greetings. We say that to most people. I love all these little, tiny little squares that can be used for something. Look at all these little tape measure marks. I love it. And on the back as well, you've got the odd 25 again. You know, but it doesn't scream Christmas, so it can be used anywhere. But look. Oh my goodness you could die cut uh, fussy cut this little reindeer out you've got the clock and the bird the trees oh I just love it it's just beautiful I mean look at this you could back cut that out back it on some black cardstock it's Christmas time oh the Xmas you could fussy cut that out and apart from that section at the top saying it's Christmas time again if you were to cut that out you could put love in there or any other baby you know and use these on something totally different i'm just so happy with this purchase and then you've got these four large cut aparts here as well so that's the second one and the backs again beautiful chase your trace chase your dreams with your open wings love it and dream nothing Christmassy on the back of there really apart from these baubles but uh, and then you've got him here oh he is absolutely fabulous believe in the magic of Christmas and apart like I say apart from the 25 and this section that could be used on something else oh, I'm loving it he's amazing look at the smile on his face bless he's just so happy and then the back, again, nothing Christmassy about that. So half this album seems to be Christmas and half not. Look at these beautiful baubles. I love it. Love it. I mean, that is the size. It says September, believe it or not. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Then these, you've got so much here to cut out. These little strips. Oh, I love it. Love it. And then the back. Love that. You, that can be used anywhere. That doesn't scream Christmas either. It's just absolutely wonderful. I love these houses. You could fussy cut these out. You know, and, and use it as a big, huge pocket on a page. Then these, you've got these cut aparts again. Love it. 24, 25. Two houses with 24 on. Two houses with leather. They're brilliant. I absolutely I love this paper. Whoops. And then we turn over. And again, can be used with the Christmas papers or without the Christmas papers. Just beautiful. So we've had... How many cut parts have we had up to now? Uh, one. Two. Only two up to now. And then this one. This one makes banners. It makes little postcards. And it also makes this beautiful little envelope. Which is mirrored on the back as well. So you could use these anywhere in your album. So they can journal on the back. This gorgeous little envelope. I think it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Because you're going to turn those flaps inwards. Or you can turn them that way. Love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So there's the third cut apart. You've got these wonderful mirrored images then. Just absolutely gorgeous. Can you imagine that? Oh, it's beautiful. I love all this patchworking. Oh, this is... I'm going to try and get some washi tape that looks like a tape measure, a Victorian tape measure. And then you look at all these lovely clouds. Uh, clouds. <laughs> Angels. <laughs> what was I thinking then? Oh, I have no idea. Another piece of gorgeous paper. These can be kept as they are. 
or you could die cut all these out or fussy cut them even. Let it snow. Just absolutely gorgeous. And that's the back. Again, non-Christmassy. Just beautiful. Uh, this is the fourth cut apart. These are really pretty. And I think they've got some on the back that they're like... Oh no, you can plain on the back. But you don't have to use that then. But they make great little tuck spots and tags. Perfect. The back page. Oh, I'm loving that. So again, you've got this beautiful normal pattern that you can use. You've got these circles then. I reckon... They, I don't know if I've got a die that, that circle that big. These are like three and five eighths. Obviously, all the way around. You've got nine of them. And then there's... Look at that. Perfect to go on your boxes. They would fit on there absolutely beautifully. So even if you hadn't got the wooden elements, you could still add the number one on the side and then have the number one on the top as the wooden bit because if they're stacked together then you're not going to see the sides until you pull it out but that could go as part of your decoration. I think it's absolutely amazing. So you got all the way down to a 25 there. And even if you didn't want to use it for that, you've got the red polka dots on the back. And then you've got a repeat of this because this is your back cover. But you've still got little bits down here you could cut out and use as well. Never let anything go to waste. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 because you're getting these bonus pages is here. Ah, no waste whatsoever. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. One. So one, two, three, four, five, And six. That's it. Six out of 24. So you're still left with 18 gorgeous pages to do whatever you want with. Just look at how cute this little pussycat is. I love it. So I thought I'd come along and thrash a few ideas about. Obviously I want to use these to decorate my advent. Um, maybe even do a another little mini album for the ACT cards because people are still sending ACT cards, the little Christmas ones. You could make some. You could even turn. Let me have a look. Where's that one? Wonder what's the width of them. They are two and a half, just short of two and a half by three and a half. Perfect for ACTs. You could turn them into ACTs, make a little album, keep them stored in there. I've got a few that, that have been sent to me that have made, been made for Christmas with Christmas ideas involved. Um, Siggy box, look at that. Um, because I'd made the box in the way Georgie had sent her box, I'd obviously got my measurements, my own self, because I'd measured my own cigarette packet to get this. So when I was decorating and adjusting my card, I said I could show you a way to do it instead of having two pieces of card. So this is the workings out to make this box in all in one. So, I mean, it's sturdy on the sides. It would do for little gifts to go in. Can you imagine fi filling 25 boxes and giving it to like a fellow crafter in the shape of a, a train or even maybe the uh, use a lorry like you know like we used to have carnivals every year and on the back of each lorry there'd be people throwing sweets and and like stage shows going on so you, you could even turn it into a eddie stobbard lorry <laughs> that'd be great but i haven't got no eddie stobbard papers but to make this little box it was so simple you just needed a piece of cardstock that was seven by seven and a half. Uh, on the short side, you needed to score at one inch, 
three and a quarter, four and a quarter, and six and a half. And then on the long side, you would score at one, four and a half, and five and a half. And then obviously you remove the appropriate bits. Obviously this was just a quick rough copy, and that was the one I did on the on the back. I don't know if you'll yeah you'll see that before you'll see the um, the actual video of the making of the advent. So, but that's that's the measurements to make those little boxes. So you've not a lot of cut. Well, if you're going to make 25, it's 25 pieces. But I buy A3 cardstock, so I would get two, maybe three. Um, it's 16 and a half. My A3 cardstock measures 16 and a half by 11 and three quarters. So when you cut it in half at eight and a quarter, that's where your two pieces of A equals two times A4. So, oh my goodness. So I get maybe oh, 14. I definitely get two. definitely get two to each sheet so I mean what's that and then obviously the making of the train as well so that would be say 13 maybe 15 pieces of A3 or about 30 pieces of A2 A4 sorry but don't throw the extras away because where you cut cut the short side to the seven and then turn the long side to get the seven and a half mind you it doesn't matter you could get the seven and a half and that way you're still left with oh I'm just my head's sticking over four and three quarters so yeah you could take an inch off one the short side spin it around giving you seven that would leave you four and three quarters If you cut the seven first, that, that four and three quarters would. Oh, my head's ticking over time. <laughs> I'm trying to think. La, la, la. You'd have plenty of card fronts, put it that way. So you could. Because we're always looking to maximise as much of the cardstock as possible. So leave that with me. Oh. Leave that one with me. So, but they sell A3 in most shops, uh, craft shops. I get mine from the range and it works out. 50 sheets is 9 99 So I get 100 A4 pieces of cotton. It's 300 GSM. It comes in cream and white only though. But uh, you add the decoration then, just leaving a little tiny bit of the exterior showing but you could map them as well add the data oh, then you're talking paper oh but it's something people have asked me to do so i'm gonna do it but they would make absolute fabulous tags or little act cards love it just to add some embellishments on the top to emphasize everything on the picture i mean you could die cut the um some more of the small wings out there we've seen across the pages and you could uh, embellish them, burnish them, and even look, see, you've got the more wings there. I know they're not as big, but you could find somewhere in here to add the wings. I'm sure there's some bigger ones. Yeah, they might be there. Oh, they're a little bit big, but you can cut them down and then you could influence them dome them and then add them add them over the top so they're like 3d add some strings and some ribbons washi tape even oh i've just got black and white washi tape as well so, you know so, some parts of this has got black on it so look here and here and here and the black polka dots there Oh, I'm just full of ideas and I'm going to go away and have a, uh, have a play now, I think. 
mean you could even cut them apart and use them as die cut pieces. Loving them. Oh, my mind is going over time. That is a huge, huge banner. Look at me pick. Oh yeah, how is it? I'm trying to measure it with my bone folder. So that one is four inches and by seven and five eighths. Wow, that's a big one, isn't it? And again, look, black and white, black and white, black and white, black and white. Oh, I can incorporate some of that washi tape I had. Oh, I'm loving it. Maxi, again, black and white. Love it. I've got some vintage stuff as well. I had these the other week in the post. And they're like, well, they've got postage stamps on. Look, on some of them. See, you've got postage stamps. I've got these vintage uh, washi tape. There's loads on this roll as well. You can just cut them apart. You can add them wherever you wanted then. Even to keep some of the pages uh, down. And then these are adverts. How wonderful. Looks like uh, toothpaste. Not toothpaste, chewing gum. But yeah, I love these. I bought these a couple of weeks back, like I'm saying. Oh, I've got this washi tape as well. My black and white ones. They've got gold and silver and all rusticy stuff. Oh, what else did I get? I got those gorgeous little envelopes as well. You've seen these before. So you can incorporate these little envelopes with these. Anything vintagey. They're fabulous. Oh, I love these. Again, these are perfect for ACT size. ATC. They are two and three quarter by just over three, well, no, three and three quarter. Yeah, two and three quarter by three and three quarter. So you've got space inside as well. Oh, oh my goodness. Beautiful. And I've got, let me get it. Not only have I got my craft card, because that gives me that element, I've also got these antique papers that have been that have been stained up. Absolutely lovely. Oh my goodness. I love all, I never used to like shabby sheep or vintage until I started making uh, albums. Now I adore it. Absolutely adore it. Yeah, these are 25 vintage, uh, 25 sheets of vintage paper. Um, the Lazy Panda Cards Company on Amazon. So if I remember, I'll get the link for all this. Oh, I can't wait to start playing. <laughs> but yeah, I had five packs of these as well. And there was, I think there was 12, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, you get. I had five packs delivered of twelve of these. They're all the same, but I didn't realise when I ordered that there was five packs coming, all as one bundle. But I've got plenty of them. Yeah. One, two, three. Four, five. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so I think they cost me about three quid for all those envelopes. Oh, we get some bargains on Amazon. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, oh my goodness, I'm going to start playing. <laughs> I so want to film it start to finish, but 
you know you don't want to sit and watch me make 25 boxes you can sit and watch me decorate 25 boxes if you want and how we pull it all together oh my goodness just so pretty the colors are so vibrant and oh beautiful he is so cheerful bless his soul i love it but i just thought i'd come and give you a little quick uh, look at what i've got today i can't help myself i love it so much but thanks for watching i'd love a thumbs up and a share if you haven't subscribed yet please do press the bell and you'll get a notification every single day because i post every single day i have got so many stamp era packs uh it's unreal i've also got my pink christmas as well so i just love stamp era papers as you can tell so Come back, see what I make with it all, and have fun. Take care now. Bye. Hey Stampers, I'm back again. Just quickly at the end of the video that I showed uh, the papers on, I started to make my boxes when a knock came on the door, and I had a, I had a private message this morning off the gorgeous Fiona saying, if something arrives today, it's from me. Just a little something to help you with your album making. And it's just arrived now, so I'll, I'll jump back on quick and show you. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Arteza. Two black covered scrapbooks. Premier. There's 40 pages. They're all 11, and a half, 11 by 8 and a half, which is American size. Uh, there's a code there. I don't know if you can see. Mind you, you'd have to scan it. Um, for 20% off um, this is an American company Arteza you want to see these there's two inside here oh my goodness look at these oh let me just pull one out to show you they're both exactly the same but oh my goodness this is they look at them they've got ribbon attached they are outstanding oh my goodness and Fiona, thank you so much. I don't know what to say, my darling. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Every page is black. Um, it's The papers are £169, which is 250 GSM. Oh, my goodness. And there's 40 pages in each album. Oh, my goodness. You could tear a few of these out make pockets, flips, uh, all sorts, and, and then just add it back onto the page. Or you could make a page like I have been doing on other paper and then glue it in the book. Oh my goodness. I've just been watching the beautiful Scrap Queen and she had some of these. Oh my goodness. Look, I'm in, actually halfway through watching her video uh, on how she's decorating hers right this minute. Oh my goodness, in between making, like I'm saying, my 25 box, oh I've missed one, my 25 boxes for my advent, which is what the papers are coming in, uh, I'm going to use for the advent, so after the advent, oh my goodness, I'm going to have a play with these albums, absolutely beautiful, so, well there's 23, well, actually, there's 21. I've already made two. And I'm going to show how I make the other two. Plus, then, we're going to get together and make the the base of the train. And what I'm going to use, I'm using these boxes. There's going to be five cream and 20 in the craft card. But when I decorate the five cream ones, I'm going to add craft card as a layer. And then the DSP, because... The five cream ones are going to make the front of my train and uh, I'm going to star the other one on the side so there'll be two together like that to make the train actually there'll be four and then the fifth one will be on the front to make that carriage look like a train carriage and then these will be in little trays little two inch trays in the back stood up two abreast as one carriage and then two abreast in the other so I'll have 20 boxes in the the cart as the two carriages to make up 
and then the other five boxes which will be in the cream layered with the craft card will be the actual front of the train so there'll be two two there two there and then the fifth one will be turned on its side to make it look like a train but oh my goodness fiona thank you so much my angel oh my goodness so thank you i just thought oh my goodness they're even lined inside look this is the back cover look at this gorgeous satin ribbon just absolutely beautiful i could not oh my goodness the corners are perfect oh i just thank you thank you so much oh my goodness you're spoiling me my darling oh my word and then oh i just i can't get over how wonderful these gifts are thank you so much look at that these come the same time as this come so i could really even just make an album with that and use my other Christmas papers to do the train. Oh, I, don't, I don't know what to do now. You've, you've spoilt me for choice there. Oh my goodness. Absolutely wonderful. And a different way. So you don't have to make your album covers. You can get them. And we can do stuff with the actual pages inside. You know, we could make it a 10 page album. Take out the other ones. And use them to make the flaps. And the pockets and the fun folds and oh Fiona thank you so much my angel oh my goodness I just don't know what to say and there's two in this box these are absolutely divine I love them thank you so much oh gosh I'm gonna have to make you something really nice now aren't I <laughs> wow oh my goodness you can just use them as as, as a photo album if you wanted um, wow I'm just blown away absolutely blown away so people watch this space oh my goodness they are absolutely beautiful and I guaranteed if your product does not perform properly please contact us at returns at .com for replacements amazing just amazing thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so now I am going to sign off and I'm going to crack on and then I'm going to come back and show how we're going to do this beautiful advent train. So catch you soon. Love you all. Bye.